You know those days you're scrolling through your phone or on your iPad and you see one of those online quizzes pop up and you think, oh, well, I'll I'll fill that in. Other friends have done the same thing and you might find out something about your political views or maybe it's just some fun telling you which cartoon character you best match. But what happens to that information? Where does it go? How is it used? Ritesh Chuk is from CQ University and is with you this afternoon. Uh, Ritesh, why should we be careful about filling out these online quizzes, do you think? Uh, Belinda, uh, all of this sounds like harmless fun, but it isn't really harmless. Um, The data that we provide when we do these quizzes, because every time you click on these quizzes, it'll ask you whether you're okay for your data to be provided. And that data could be the public profile information on your Facebook page. It could be your friends list. It could be your email address, your timeline posts, and your photos as well, depending on the quiz you're trying to complete. You might just be trying to find out who your soulmate is or which Hollywood personality matches you or or who you resemble. But um, what the provider wants is this information so they can actually target ads to you. And it's not just about the advertisements. It's also about where this information goes and how it's used and how it gets stored also. That's of concern. So where does us. where does it go? Where is it stored? Uh, well, none of us bother to read the privacy policy because it's too long in most instances. And the privacy policies clearly say that uh, they don't specify where the information gets stored. I mean, I've looked at a few policies and it says the information could be stored on servers in many countries around the world. So what happens to that information? Uh, is there any security for that information? We really don't know. And what range of things is it or could it be used for? I mean, advertising is a, an obvious one, I guess, but it's, uh-huh. much, it's much broader than that. It is. The... It could also be used depending on the app provider, you, the application provider um, you're using. It could be a phishing scam also. It could be a clickbait advertising. So by clicking on the quiz, you could actually be uh, taken to a scam page. And that then again stores all of your information. In fact, one of the um, recent developments that has come to light is um, some of these. Um, quizzes would ask us very simple questions such as the city you went to for your high school or the maiden name of your mother. Now, often what happens is responses to these questions also form the security question responses to, let's say, our email or our banks. So if a hacker has access to our email address, which is they've got through the app, and while doing a quiz, I've also mentioned the city I went to for my high school, I've also given them the maiden name of my mother. So through data mining techniques, they can then try and access, for example, my email address, uh, sorry, my um, email account, or even my bank account for that matter. So is it really uh, the onus on us, our, our own fault, if we're agreeing to participate in one of these seemingly um, innocuous quizzes? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's our fault. I would advise caution because I'm very wary of doing these quizzes. Even when I've tried them out, I have actually gone and created an account just to test these things out. And we really have to be very careful because ultimately, would we be okay leaving our home unlocked? It's one of those things. Mm -hmm. I mean, the data that we provide to these um, app providers is gold for them. And Ritesh, what rights do we have about our personal information being shared in this way? Uh, Well, on social media, it doesn't appear that we've got rights because what's happening is the privacy policies are meant to protect the providers, not the customers itself, not the users. In fact, even if you look look at the Facebook privacy policy, it'll say, I mean, it's meant to protect Facebook. In fact, one of the things the Facebook policy says is um, that um, the users are not subject to their own terms and conditions. In fact, we, we, are, um, we are 
covered by the app provider's terms and conditions. Now, this creates a big problem. It sounds harmless, but it's not really harmless. And the other problem I have also seen is the results of these quizzes actually provide a feel-good factor. Now, what that means is when you complete a quiz, it gives you your personality type. And then you share it with other people on, on Facebook, let's say, and it encourages or it introduces what I call the network effect of social engineering that encourages other people to complete that quiz as well. Ritesh, thank you very much for that. It's a good warning for us this afternoon. Ritesh Chuk from CQ University with a warning about um, participating in some of those quizzes that we see on a fairly regular basis on Facebook.